Okay, thank you. So, let me set up a bit first. What what is happening? Yeah. Okay. So hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Amirul Abu. Okay. Oh, is everyone here yet? <laughs> Can we start? Okay. So my name is Amirul Abu, and currently I'm a full stack engineer at Vast.ai. Okay. And this is about my a journey about how Python helped me change my career. So from an engineer, chemical engineer, to a full stack engineer. Yeah. So sort of engineer, but yeah, you can see the different emojis there. Yeah. Good. Okay. So I'm gonna go through my uh, outline here. So first is I'm gonna talk about my life before I got a programming job, and then how. What are the things that I do? And this is sort of like a curated list of resources that one can use to learn programming. Lah. Okay. And lastly, my one and only job interview uh, where I share my interview experience with my permission of my boss, lah, of course. Okay. Uh, and I want to highlight lah, because I only need one interview to finally land a job. So I don't need to go through that dreaded and scary phase of job hunting right okay okay so yeah life before programming job where it all started so to be honest i'm actually kind of a computer geek so i like computers but um during i think one of the turning points is during my university you see here, I have three laptops. Yeah, that time I was formatting Windows laptops, helping my friends clear uh, viruses from their computers. And then suddenly got bored with Windows. Yeah, and I tried uh, Linux and installing different distros. So, uh, university taught me a lot. And I met a group of uh, seniors. They are in IT course and I'm in chemical engineering. Uh, by the way, I learned chemical engineering in UTP, University Technology Petronas. Okay, so I met a few of uh, my seniors that taught me about Linux, and yeah, and then I met also a group of guys, which is these entrepreneurs, building websites for businesses. That time they are using WordPress, right? So wow, I was interested. Wow, you can do websites, huh? Very nice. Okay, so it's something. Uh, so I learned uh, how to do web hosting, domain stuff, and I did a website for a business during my uh, semester break. So I did get a bit of money lah. Okay, uh, but until that point, I still haven't touched programming. So yeah, maybe I tried Hello World, but I still. I'm not into programming yet, okay? And I think the course at UTP, because I'm a chemical engineer, so my course does have an intro to programming using C++. That it, well, it doesn't teach much, just the basics of if, else, for loops, right? But uh, I feel uh, not really, it's not really attractive enough because I cannot share my work. And it doesn't give me something to uh, something useful to me lah. Uh, it's not like building websites because if you build a website, uh, you can show to people, right? Yeah, show in Facebook. Hey, look at my website. This is this is my. I did it myself. I paid the domain. Okay, uh, okay. So after I graduated, so I found this ad on some Facebook group. Uh, I think the name is John Web about a web development bootcamp so i entered a bootcamp lah. so that time i learned ruby on rails and it really opened my eyes wow i already know this basic uh, web hosting domains and now i can build my own web application so uh, ruby on rails oh, 
that uh, really opened my eye lah to programming. Wow, it's not it's not that hard at all. Yeah. Okay. So, oops, sorry. Oop. Okay. So, yeah. So I uh, I joined this web development bootcamp in Magic Sabijaya. So it's called Code Academy, but now the name is Next Academy. Okay. And then I need to serve my bond. So I work as a not really a chemical engineer, but a process safety executive, which requires a chemical engineering degree, lah. Okay. So that time I was working, um, uh, doing trainings. I mean, a lot, a lot of soft skills I learned at there, lah. Okay. So at this point in my life, uh, doing uh, programming was a hobby, and I don't know somehow because. Uh, previously, I learned Ruby on Rails, right? Uh, suddenly, I changed into Python. Uh, I'm also not sure, but maybe I like the uh, syntax because I don't think you need an end at every end of the block. So suddenly, Python magically. Oh, at first it doesn't click to me, but when I write a bit of Python, oh, okay. So you don't need an end at all, okay? So, and then I found an equivalent of Ruby on Rails. Uh, can you guess what it is? In Python. Django. Yeah, of course. I learned Django. Yeah. So, during my four years working in Labuan, yeah, that time I was working in Labuan, so I learned Django and tried some pet projects, okay? And learning programming during my, uh, during, after work hours, thinking that Oh, someday I want to be a programmer. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it is, it's a nice segue to my next point, which is how. Okay. So I want to uh, shape this talk a bit because I, I'm sure everyone here already knows how to program, right? Or at least must uh, write uh, hello world, print hello world, right? So I'm going to shape this talk. Pretending that uh, you have a friend, you have a friend that wants to be a programmer, but it's not here right now. But how you can help him or him or her, yeah, to become a programmer and jumping from their current job to become a programmer. Okay. But so first thing you need to decide to focus your energy is what you what type of programmer you want to be. You want to be a web programmer, a mobile programmer. Or uh, yeah, that's data, data science or data engineering. Okay, yeah. So at that time, I I decide to become a web developer because I already know a bit of the basics uh, from learning WordPress. Okay, so that means to become a web developer, I need to know front end and back end. Front end, uh, okay. So for front end. I use free code camp. Okay. So uh, if anyone wants a slide, I have the link at the back lah. So you can take picture of the link, yeah. Okay. So at first front end I learned from free code camp. And free code camp is great because they assume you you have zero experience in coding at all. So they teach you from the basics of uh, like the P tag, paragraph track, so for HTML, CSS, until uh, the JavaScript. And then you learn uh, a lot of algorithm stuff lah. Okay. And what's great of, uh, about free code camp, it's zero setup. Because you go to the website, you can immediately answer. Uh, you can answer in the browser. Okay. So it saves a lot of time lah. And you can do it anywhere. And secretly, I, I did some of the free code camp challenges during, uh, after, after, I don't know, after four, uh, 4 p.m. lah. Okay, so I don't do it in my core uh, working hours, but I did some lah. Okay, yeah. And I think the good one of the good part of Record Camp is they have the uh, projects. So this project is very freehand. So meaning you just do it. Build a personal profile portfolio web page. Meaning you 
do a static website for uh, for maybe someone experience it's quite it's, it's quite simple right but for people with zero experience yeah it's quite a challenging thing but if you complete it you, know, you will feel very motivated lah okay yeah and then you can share to your friends hey i have a static website uh, do you have uh, yeah i have one and then if they have a business maybe they can do a static website for their business too so already save a lot of money right yeah okay so front end then next back end i choose python lah yeah and i owe a lot from this book python crash course uh, because uh, i'm the type of learner that i need to learn the need to understand a bit first before i start doing something so python crash course uh, helps me from the basic syntax until the classes and stuff but the interesting part is at the back they have three projects and the projects that make me excited yeah one of it is using django lah okay so there are three projects one using pygame second using uh, matplotlib to do data visualization and the third is web application okay so i actually skip the two projects just to try the web application and i find it well this is some kind of like rails like uh, very very fun to do lah okay um yeah so i recommend this book lah for anyone who is new to python just because of the projects okay uh, because if you do uh projects then you are really have you have a something to show to people and something to do lah yeah instead of you learning the basic syntax or doing like algorithm puzzles it's, it get maybe kind of bored to me at least yeah okay so next uh, i learned i found out that i lack a bit in the uh, basic of computer science so i tried the cs50 uh, cs50 introduction to computer science uh, if you can uh, if you google this you can find cs50 is everywhere just google cs50 okay so what's the great thing about this they have full lectures with assignments uh, but the grading is also done uh, using their tools lah okay and i think i gain a lot of appreciation of computer science because when i first started programming i start with ruby and then python and i don't even learn the low level stuff not really low level but the basic stuff like memory management like how to uh, manipulate pointers uh, the address like so uh, cs50 uses c programming uh, to teach that lah okay so at least uh, i know it is not useful for uh, for web programming but somehow it give me appreciation that python uh, helps to uncover all the complexity lah okay yeah so by completing cs50 now i know lah why python is called a high level uh, language eh okay so and then uh, yeah like i said i did uh, some uh, projects using python libraries and listing them on my personal website lah so this is important if you have a friend that wants to be a programmer um, buy a domain a cheap domain can do yeah and paste your uh paste all your list down all your projects there if you do that instantly you are much better than most of the people searching jobs out there yeah i found that people sometimes are not they want the job but they are not motivated enough they are, they don't show the passion so if you show the passion sure someone will pick you up yeah okay so this is one of my project belajar python bot so this is in, on telegram so i'm gonna give a lightning talk on this i think so basically this bot will filter will uh, give you questions and then you answer them after you answer then they will give you an invite link lah. okay and that's that's a very small project i just 
that time Bitcoin was so hot, right? So I tried an API and tried using Tkinter, which is a standard library GUI, right? So that time I just want to try what what the hell is Tkinter? So let's try one. Yeah, just do that. It's a very simple thing. Uh, okay, so just do uh, j do projects and list them down. Okay. So next, oh, even though I was at Lab One, I try to join meetups. So the easiest way to start, go to meetup.com, find around KL. Yeah, maybe you are here because oh, you're already one step ahead lah. You are at PyCon. Okay, that's very good. But maybe your friend who wants to be a programmer, he said, oh, but I don't know anything about Python. Why should I come to PyCon? That's a totally wrong mindset. If you want to learn py Python, you should come to PyCon. Yeah, something like that. Lah. And I also joined a lot of type of meetups, like DevOps meetups, like Google Cloud. I don't know. I, I don't even try, I uh, haven't tried uh, Google Cloud before. But I just want to go there just to meet people. Okay? And uh, the second part is important. You must go to the after party, mom up session. Yeah. Because that's when people are really relaxed and open lah to talk about anything. And that time maybe you can yeah, sort of say, hey, I'm searching for a job. Yeah. Hire me. Yeah, something like that lah. Okay? Uh, because usually people go to the meetup, but they don't go to the after party session. So it's quite a loss lah. Especially for the ones who are searching for a job. Right? And I even meet my uh, current boss there. So he he kind of said, hey, you you want to search job, okay? Yeah, let's try. Interview. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If you do this, you are much better than a lot of people searching jobs out there. Uh, okay? So then it makes you wonder lah. I'm working a full-time job in Labuan. How do I have time to do all this? How do I learn? So it's actually a bit simple lah. I set aside one or two hours uh, per day, uh, maybe more lah. Okay. So on this one or two hour session, maybe I go through the Python crash course if I haven't finished yet, or I go through some lectures. Okay. And if you see that, that's my uh, sort of Kanban board. Does anyone know what's a Kanban board? Okay, eh? yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I paste it inside my bedroom. So every day I remember, oh, I need to do something. Yeah. And this is a screenshot of my uh, habit app, which nags me every 8 p.m. Ask me, lah, uh, did you do any programming today? Every 8 p.m. Yeah. Because that time usually I start programming, so if I forgot, at least there's a reminder lah. And if I click, yeah, check, so there's one uh, programming activity recorded lah. So if you see here, I started programming kind of 2017 uh, until 2019 lah. Okay. Um, from my short analysis, data analysis, okay, not not machine learning or something, just data analysis. Uh, I see a lot, I did a lot of programming at the end of quarter 3 and early quarter 4. Can anyone guess why? Uh, hard, eh? Okay. Uh, so, actually, at that time, it's my performance review. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was kind of scared because, yeah, I don't really like chemical engineering. I, I did just barely... <laughs> Minimum, uh, will I get fired this time? Yeah. So, I kind of, oh, if I get fired, so I must learn programming, right? So, I just, yeah, keep doing every every day, yeah. yeah. Okay? So, and also on some weekends, sometimes people are excited for the weekend because they want to go outside, right? For me, like, hey, I, I found this Python library, I want to try. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay? So that uh, so coming back to my topic, 
how Python helped me to land a job, right? Uh, this is my one and only programming job interview. Okay. So, uh, when I was at VAS during my interview, so I was very nervous. Lah. I mean, it's a test, right? It's an exam. And how you want to prepare for an exam that you don't know what's the question? Yeah. So, luckily, I was asked to do a, a web, app, web application and deploy it in any language, in any tech stack that I want. SQL, no SQL, Ruby, I don't know, maybe C. Yeah, just use whatever, but follow the spec. So, the spec is, yeah, you, you must upload a JSON file that is provided to populate the database and then uh, display it all the uploaded items okay and then uh, on your website must have a search box to filter out the items lah. yeah so it's kind of a front end and back end challenge lah. okay so i consider myself lucky lah because uh, i was doing this django projects just for fun not even in production just just for fun and luckily that time i learned how to deploy my own django on a vps so I have a B VPS already running, okay? So I did this. Maybe uploading is yeah quite simple. You upload, see, uh, save in the memory, and then uh, change it to a dictionary, and then you loop it, save one by one into database. Okay, display all the upload items. Yeah, yeah, quite simple. But search box, this is a front end challenge. And I'm, I'm, I don't have any experience in uh, any JavaScript framework. So I did it with uh, vanilla JavaScript. Yeah. Is HTML equal to yeah, some text with HTML in it? Yeah. So luckily I passed the interview. Lah. Okay. Yeah. So if, if I want to turn back time, lah, I think I need to learn. A bit of JavaScript lah, uh, because that time it's quite famous the term uh, JavaScript fatigue, right? Yeah. So that time I don't want to even touch JavaScript. I just uh, just do whatever lah. Okay. Just do whatever to do the job. The uh, as long as the job done, okay. Yeah. So uh, this is my main takeaway lah, uh, because I learn if I give a talk, most of it people don't really take it but at least you take take this tree okay plan if you want to learn to code if your friend want to learn to code plan a time and be consistent uh, there is some sort of term called deliberate training right and 10 10000 hours yeah so search it and try to make a habit out of it okay and also make pet projects that is related to your work yeah Maybe if it's related to your work, so you are more invested in it. Okay? And also find and join community meetups. Okay? Okay. So, here's my last slide. Thank you. Uh. So, our company uh, are hiring software engineers, Node.js, slash front end, and also data scientists and engineers, and also DevOps engineers. Okay? So for data, of course, we use Python. But anything else, we use Node.js. Okay? So here's the link for the slide. And my email. Okay, thank you.